So up guys, what is up and welcome back to, well not welcome back, welcome to Shattered Skies, a upcoming, I believe this is currently, I don't know if it says anywhere what it is, uh, we got inventory and stuff, look at this, look at this, this is fancy, I look kind of like a army version of Zac Efron, look at that face, look at it, it's a little bit more scarred, a little bit less black in there, but still, cool beans, cool beans, alright, so welcome, I'm gonna do my, oh dude, I'm getting the hawk, are you kidding me? There might be some low textures, <laughs> it might look poopy, but keep in mind, I got a poopy computer that I really do have to upgrade soon, and hopefully it doesn't stutter or nothing too bad, but welcome to Shattered Skies, a upcoming, right now I believe you can buy it off their websites if you do want to jump into the game, it's like 25 bucks for the base game, an upcoming open world survival game with, uh, I don't know too much about it, honestly, I like to jump into these games blind and learn about them, because I mean, that's why I had so much fun with Ark, I knew like almost nothing about Ark, jumped in, had a fantastic like 100 episode series man that was something for season one but uh, I mean open world survival you know you guys know the drill by now if you've been watching the channel you know it's what I play it's what I play uh, it's from the makers of aftermath if you guys remember that and uh, if you guys know aftermath it is from the makers of the war Z so I do want to get that out there Ooh, what is this 12 gauge buckshot hells to the yeah it is from the makers of war oh hell yeah we got a shotgun already boy Woo -hoo -hoo. Day one shotgun hype. Also, the game looks like poop. I'm so, you know, backpack. Dude, things are looking good. There's like 35 people on the server, by the way. But uh, things are looking good. Hell yeah. So this is kind of, uh, not, oh, mechanical parts. I'm just going to be picking up everything I can. We're looting here. Uh, lower left hand corner, you can see all my vitals, all the important stuff. And uh, I think there are some buildings over there I want to check out. Anyways, this is from the makers of the War Z Aftermath, those games. Uh, it's a new game. I mean, that's, I just didn't want to get that out there. Because, I mean, some of you guys might be like, oh, it looks awesome. But I do want to say, I mean, the track is, the track record of them. It's been getting better. But still, I don't want to, like, mislead anyone here. And just be like, oh, dude, it's made by uh, flawless devs who have never done anything wrong in their lives. I mean, the War Z, eh, a little, little bit flawed. A little bit flawed. But that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about Shattered Skies. So, now that's out of the way, just want to clarify that. Be <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh my god, is that an alien? Ah! Ah! Why is there an alien? Why am I not killing it? What the fuck? Uh... Okay. Dude, this, uh... This alien. Tough guy, tough guy. Oh my god. Um... Well! Did not expect to get jumped by an alien already, and uh, the problem with this is... I don't know if I can take this guy out. I'm like getting rid of his shield right now, I think? I don't know, I get whatever the hell that blue thing was. I don't know what that was. Oh god, he's like, oh get back here, alien. You going down, buddy. Come on, one more shotgun shell. I missed! How do I melee? How do I melee? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dude, how do I melee? Ow, ow, ow. Okay, can I just like Um, um. I messed up. I messed up bad. I missed that last shot because the bastard like ducked. Where'd he go? Is he gonna like regenerate his shield? Okay, real quick, hopefully I don't die here. Settings. Where are the controls? How the hell do I melee? I need to know this right now. Secondary interact? No. Primary fire? Aim, move forward, auto run. Is there not a melee? Steady aim. Please give me a melee. She the weapon back. There isn't a melee, is there? I can't melee this bastard? Oh, man. Uh... Well, oh, hello. This is very unfortunate because he was getting really low, dude. I'm salty. I'm salty. Can I like unequip that maybe? And uh, all right, let's go. We're gonna go punch the bastard. Wish me luck, boys and girls. We gotta punch a level five alien. I'm kind of scared for my life. This thing was loud. Oh, is it dead? No, it's not dead yet. Die, 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 die. Jesus Christ, I killed it. Yes, I'm bleeding though. Do I not get to loot you? It's just XP I get? Alright, well, uh, good chance here we bleed out, which is gonna suck, because we got a nice shotgun. Also, for some reason, the aliens are really loud, but as you can see, there's some PvE, PvE elements to this, and that's what I like to see, because honestly, I feel like PvE elements is what can make games like this great. Is this game great yet? I don't know, dude. I've been playing for literally five minutes. I, like, you, your guess from watching this video, and only this video, is as good as mine. Can I eat this apple? What was that noise? Is that another alien? 
It's another alien. It's another alien. Why are there so many aliens here? What the hell? Okay. Okay. You know what? We're gonna go loot somewhere else. We're obviously not welcome here. I thought I could make some friends. Oh my god, look at that monstrosity. I just gotta get some more shotgun shells. Dude, we got a shotgun. Life can be good. We just gotta get some shells for it. I mean, I'm sure we can find something in a car, hopefully, and hopefully this thing buggers off. That thing's still chasing us. And that thing is so, so ugly, but, uh, oh, it's shooting at us too. Awesome. Awesome. You want to screw off there, Mr. Alien? I'm just over here trying to be a cool guy. To do what cool guys do. Pristine bandage. Sure. Ammo? Uh, I think that's a gun of some sort. With four bullets, man. I mean, I'll keep, I'll keep her handy, but this isn't going to be doing much for us here. Speaking of that, okay, I'm going to re-equip the spaz. Dude, there's a lot of, I feel like there's like settings and stuff here I can mess with. Look at that. That's cool. Kind of like Escape from Tarkov. You can customize it a little bit more in depth. Although Escape from Tarkov, from what it's appearing to be, looks more in depth. Oh, is this a military backpack? Hell yeah, I'm grabbing that. Make sure we're in the clear. Can I equip that thing instead? How do I equip this? Change pack. 32 versus the sieve. 28. So we got a better one right now. Uh... We got the utility belt. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a starter backpack. Welcome to the game. Once open, the contents will drop on death. Welcome to the game. Let's open her up. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Following items inside. Okay. Okay. You know. Not to mention it. We can actually fight some things. This is what I like to see. Now we got some guns. And, uh, let's get us some XP, boys. Guns loaded up. Uh, survival-wise, lower left-hand corner, we're looking good. And I want to loot this damn place, so we're going to try and take out this alien who seemingly just disappeared in front of my eyes, unless I, like, I stopped paying attention for a second. He's not here anymore. But we got a gun. Also, like, I, I don't know if I mentioned the graphics. I feel like I did, but do just want to reiterate. The graphics can get better. This is medium. There's also high and ultra options. No clue what that looks like. I'd love to try, but currently, right now even, my frame rate is uh, definitely lower than it was on low because I started off the recording on low. Okay, I hear it. I hear it. Where are you? Where are you? It's really like loud and noticeable when you hear the guys. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we're gonna run away a bit. We're still bleeding. I should have really used that bandage by now, right? There we go. Get some good shots in on this guy. Hopefully not get shot at by his ranged attack, but I like this man already. We got the starter pack, we're getting some action in, and, uh, you know? This is what I like to see, if we can just get rid of, get some headshots on this guy, do some single shot. Is he dead? He might be dead. I think he's dead, we got 80 XP. Can we loot the guy? I don't think so. Alright, well, let's use this bandage, wherever that thing went. Where'd the ba- oh, there it is, it's number three. It's on the three slot, let's use that up. Stop the bleeding. I really should have done that earlier. I was not paying much attention. Fortifications box. Box containing fortifications. That seems cool. We got an extra ultra LC9. Got some 9mm FMJ. Dude, we got some ammunitions here. This is what I like to see. We got a pistol. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, Does that one not load or something? There we go. Okay, we had to change the ammo type, I guess. Awesome. So we're loaded. We got some basic guns to start off with. I want to finish looting this place up, because it seemed like it had some good things up until the point where we got ambushed by loud and scary noises. And, uh, ooh, Chetzel's pretzels, dude, I love pretzels. Nothing in the fridge. Now, anyways, I'm hoping to play this game with some friends. I did just want to do episode one on my own to see, then, like, what I could figure out, that type of stuff. Uh, can I, like, craft down civilian backpacks? That is something I do want to see. We got some berries, we can eat those. Our health is restoring. Good news there. I'm going to hide up here. Um, is there a crafting menu? There is crafting. Okay. That's all the crafting parts we can do. And then here's... Okay. Okay. I mean, to my knowledge, there's no way of breaking stuff down. We got one mechanical part. And then here's all the stuff we can craft. So we can eventually craft guns and stuff. Okay. Seems cool. Here's the map. Oh, hello. What is this? The reactor facility has been unstable. Top tier rewards to any group of players. Dude, they got like stuff going on here. This is like a decent sized map too. There's, hello, tranquility. Oh yeah, there's factions in this. 
Oh no, no, no. Oh, we got the big alien. Okay, so it seems like this gas station's a spawn point for the aliens. This is what I have deducted. Oh! Oh, let's run away, run away. We want we want to space out the shots a little bit. Get headshots, not get hit. Ow. Not get hit by them. As long as we don't, like, start bleeding, that's the big thing I'm worried about here. Another alien down. So we do gotta be careful. This isn't the friendliest of places, unfortunately, but... I mean, it's a good way to grind XP, at least. I think we got all of the garage. We're gonna go over here. Hopefully if an alien does spawn, it'll be too far away to bother us. Uh, so I'm guessing the backstory to this game, there's an alien invasion, and Earth got fucked. That's what I'm deducting from it. I think it's a pretty good deduction, but uh, if you guys know better, let me know. Also, let me know what you think of the game so far. I know it's not a lot to go off of, and you probably got some uh, predispositions to the game from the whole fact that the devs... Yo, what was that noise? That sounded like bullets, man. That sounded like something getting shot. I just feel like I'm gonna shit my pants, because like these audio levels are iffy, to say the least. Like, when those aliens attack? Dude, how big is this beach ball? Jesus. God damn, that is big as hell. Okay. Like I was saying. We're gonna wanna head over, I think, to the Dominion blockade. That seems like it might be cool. We could start messing around with uh, faction stuff. But it does seem like there's a good amount of depth to this game. I'm hoping to hop in, I think, with, like, uh, Lewis, Psy Syndicate. I was hoping to jump in with him. That's some adventures together. And uh, we will see. Hopefully my loot carries over. I don't know if it like, has to be the same server, that type of stuff, but hopefully it does carry over. That would be nice. And uh, just running through the wilderness right now. Our water is starting to go down. Don't know if we got anything to work with that. Do we got some clean water flask? Uh, let's drink from that. Awesome. Get our water back up. We got some snacks. We got some berries. And uh, I think we got the outpost up there. Right? Yeah, we're heading towards the Dominion blockade, so... I guess we'll find out if the Dominion is friendly, unfriendly, or if neither, because I haven't chosen a faction. And if I haven't... Ooh! An AK! Haha! <laughs> baby, baby! That's what I like to see, so... Uh, does the AK take the same ammo? Yeah, it does. Dude? If you don't know, I feel like the AK... Do we got weapon stats on this stuff? That's what I'm curious about. AK. Uh, damage ratio, 102% versus the MS4. Recoil 1, spread 4. Recoil 1, spread 6. Fire rate of that's a little bit higher. Reload time's a little bit lower. But that is like a 2% higher damage ratio, whatever the hell that means. So, I'll be using this up, and uh, we'll be checking out the Dominion blockade here. I've yet to run across a player. I did hear something back there that might have been a player, but uh, still, I don't know. And uh, I'm excited, though. I am. There's probably going to be a good amount of uncertainty here, but uncertainty is what makes the game fun, right? And if I knew everything that was going to happen, I don't really know that I'd enjoy that. Although I would be hella good at the game, I don't know if I'd enjoy it. Would be able to talk some mad shit, that's for sure. Okay, so they got like, dude, they got, they're ready to hold out here, damn. Active in 37 minutes, what's that even mean? What were to happen if we were to like stick around here? Is there like, uh, so, does it say something on the map? I don't know. There we can like disable stuff on the map. There's no aliens here that I've seen yet. This might be like a safer area. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like if we probably, ooh, 12 gauge. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Six 12 gauge. Use that for our spaz. Spaz does do work at close range too. Those aliens are getting screwed. Yeah, though, like I said, this episode, I'm just checking out the game at first, seeing what's going on, what's going on. Next episode, we'll probably be here with some friends. Got another Spaz 12. Dude, I should just start trading the stuff. God damn, it's like a trading card game. I'll trade you my shotgun for a Charizard. What up? Let's do it. Let's do this deal right now. No waiting. It's more than nine. Well, we're getting plenty of ammo. I mean, there's no, no shortage of that. I just want to know where everyone is. I mean, if you look at the map, that's where we are. We covered there to there in like a minute or two. There is what? 35 up to 40 people at this point on the server. There's gotta be some high pop areas that we do not yet know about, and uh, I'd like to know about those. Probably when I play with Lewis or something, he'll uh, help me out and let me know. But for now, this is the game, and I think it's in pre-alpha currently. I don't know if I mentioned that. 
So, I mean, things are subject to change. Don't know what the hell the point of this area was. It seems like corners are kind of glitchy, too. Like, you kind of get stuck on them. I don't know if that's just me. And, uh... I mean, where else can we go from here? We can go to Hell's Peak Lookout. Small industrial installation. I guess we could end the episode off there and see what happens. I even get a little bit ballsy. I mean, worst case, we'll just lose some stuff. But by the looks of it, it's not like super hard to get back. At least I don't think so. Also, a lot less pay to win from what I've seen. It doesn't appear that, like the War Z where you can just buy all the best stuff. It doesn't appear to be that, that way. I think... Uh, I guess a little bit better than that. So go up here. Let's see what's up. And then after that, probably call an episode. Like I said, expect more action in the coming episodes. Because I do plan on continuing this series, at least for a little bit. Check out some new games, man. Because I want to check out new stuff. Because, I mean, it, there's been a lack of new games lately. And uh, Battlefield 1, that's definitely a new game. Definitely going to be doing more of that. I said I was going to do that every other day. Uh, probably tomorrow. Every other day to every three days, I think it's going to be the upload schedule for that. Because I only have so much footage I can really use. So heads up there, in case you are wondering. Just a little bit of a side note. Other than that, yeah. That is the game plan. I'm going to be playing this with some buds. Hopefully a good amount of them. And taking things from there. Now, are there aliens up here? That is the one thing I'm concerned with. Or maybe even other players. Oh, I heard aliens. What up? Oh! That was sudden. Where is this thing? I'm getting shot at from below? Bastard. I'm about to mow you down, man. There we go. Ow. I'm really slow. I'm really slow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. spaghetti -o. Ow. Dude's like sniping me. There we go. Alien down. Only 13 bullets to spare. We've gotten some XP. Don't know how close we are to a level. Don't even know how the leveling system works. But it does appear that there was something up here before we got abruptly interrupted. What is this, another AK? Some uh, hard armor plate level two. Hello, and a cog. Is that like a different site on the AK or something? Oh, well, actually, uh, let's put this in. Level five. God damn, dude, I ain't got that type of crap. I can't do that. Hard armor plate two. Nice, man, we got some armor. Hell yeah. This thing's got 30 rounds in the mag before we got, got to call that a day. We got a level 5 gun. So whenever we level up. Are there quests? I, I feel like there might be quests in this game. Don't quote me on that, but that's definitely a maybe. Definitely a maybe. Favorite oxymoron out there. I'll check out the couple towers. This kind of reminds me of a freaking, uh, the fortifications from Unturned. Just like the way that there's like four towers around the installation. I don't know. I'm crazy. Dude, I haven't played Unturned in forever, so it's probably a completely different game by now. Probably not even blocky anymore. No, it's definitely blocky. Let's be honest with ourselves. And yeah, I mean, other than that, a lot of backpacks, it seems. Those are a popular thing to leave behind. And pistols. So far, we've found like four different guns. So hopefully there's more. I do know, or we can now tell, that apparently the guns do level, or there are different level versions of guns that you can find. Which is quite cool, if you ask me. Oh! 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 Why the hell did you spawn there? What's the tits, man? Why? Why would you do that? That's just like a jerk move. There we go. Okay, so it appears that aliens could give less of a crap about the spawn rules of the game. They just teleport behind you. So I guess these aliens got some goddamn high-tech stuff and they look straight out of dead space. So whatever the hell's going on, I don't know. Next thing we know, the moon's gonna turn into a zombie and eat us all. So I say that's a good point to call as an episode. Before even worse things happen, I'd rather get my barons, hopefully meet up with a friend, and uh, take things from there. Because, and probably sort out my audio. So I don't know if that's just me, but they are really loud. But other than that, so that's going to go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys for watching the video as always, and hopefully, see you next one.